A neighborhood crime alert on the west side tonight. The owner of a local business warning others nearby to be on the lookout after a string of overnight rip-offs. Now, some of what happened, as you just saw, was caught on camera in the very early morning hours today. Those crimes happened on 103rd Street, just a few blocks west of Rickard Road. Channel 4's Francesca Amerker has been watching this video. She's joining us with the details. Fran? And Ken Joy, that owner tells us that he saw the burger in a nearby parking lot looking through windows of cars, also shaking the handles of doors. And tonight he says he wants people who live and work nearby to be warned. The owner of Gordon Automotive says he was at his auto shop when this man jumped his barbed wire fence at 419 this morning. The business is located on 103rd Street, just a few blocks west of Ricker Road. William Gordon Jr. says break-ins have been a problem, which is why he has surveillance cameras to catch the crooks in the act. Gordon says he called police when he saw the burglar rummaging through the car dealership next door, then saw him jump the fence onto his property. But it was the sound of police, Gordon says, that scared the burglar off. He wasn't caught. We took a look at crime in that area. According to JSO's crime mapping website, in just the past two months, there have been 15 burglaries, two car thefts, two robberies, and five car break-ins within just a half a mile of Gordon's business. And Gordon also paste, uh, posted to the Facebook page a photo and the surveillance video that he was able to capture thanks to his business. And he hopes that everyone shares that and anyone who lives and works in this area is aware of that person. And when it comes to what the thief took, we're told all he took was a CD. I'm live tonight for Chess Gamaker Channel 4, the local station. Francesca, it sounds like this shop may have had trouble with criminals in the past. And they have, Joy, back in 2010, Bill Gordon Sr. actually saw a burglar come into his shop and he held him at gunpoint until the police arrived. All right, gosh, Francesca Amerker reporting live for us tonight. Fran, thank you.